Uh, so, Adrian, thank you very much for doing this. So, listen, we ask everyone three questions when they come on. Uh, the first question is, what was the book that got you into reading? Um, yeah, I absolutely know the answer for this. Oh, good. <laughs> yes, I, I prepared. <laughs> um, um, I didn't grow up in a house with a lot of books, but I had a very good uh, librarian um, in, in Carrick Fergus Library and in Belfast Central Library. And um, librarian knew that I liked... Well, I think most kids then liked other worlds and escape and to other places. And so a lot of kids I knew were into fantasy and science fiction. And the book that I really loved was the Earthsea trilogy by Ursula Le Guin. And it was about, you know, this is sound familiar. It's about a boy wizard who goes to wizard school and uh, and grows and grows up uh, to become a powerful wizard dealing with evil forces there are no new stories <laughs> no there are new new stories and but anyway i loved i loved the wizard of earth sea ursula Le Guin. she was an incredible uh writer and um and i actually wrote to her and uh she was really kind enough to write me back you know i was like 10 years old and she wrote me a, a nice letter back so absolutely that 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 one and uh, tell me this, this is a very hard question. The book you'd like your name on the front of, essentially a book you're jealous that someone else wrote. Okay, I, I actually, I, I, pre I prepared this well. There's a book called The Peregrine uh, by J.A. Baker. And this is not going to sound promising as I describe this. It's a book about a man who goes bird watching in Essex for a decade. Everyone's shaking their heads on camera. no. Stick with me, folks. Stick with me. <laughs> it's about a man who goes bird watching in Essex for a decade in the 1960s, and he bicycles into the marshes, and he just notes down um, peregrines and all the other birds that he sees, and it's a masterpiece. It's one of the greatest. Uh, it's nonfiction, obviously, but it's one of the greatest books of the 20th century, and uh, no one has really heard of it. And um, you know, I'd love more people to read it, but anyway, that's that's the one. Uh, it's just every line just drips with genius. It's like reading the Bible. It's it's just extraordinary. And you may have already said this, but uh, is there a book you regularly gift to people or recommend to people? Yeah, this is also not a, a one that's not many people are happy with this. Um, but um, I, I read I read this book a few years ago about Bill Shankly called Red or Dead by the English. Um, English novelist, crime novelist mostly, but he's written um, football novels um, called David Peace. And um, Red or Dead is a story about Bill Shankly's tenure as Liverpool manager. And again, that doesn't sound promising if you're not into Liverpool or football, but it's a masterpiece. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, his book, The Damned United, is more famous. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and the Red Riding trilogy, that's more famous. But I think yeah, yeah. Um, Red or Dead is his masterpiece. I love that book. And I've given it to about 10 people, and two people have liked it. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> uh, a real pleasure chatting to you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you guys for so much for having me. It was an absolute delight. 